To continue the aerodynamic theme, the seat post clamp is completely hidden from the airflow. And there's one thing you have to take care of. It's a three-piece clamp, so once it's inside there, you tighten it, and then it pushes itself up against uh, the seat post and clamps it. But uh, it's important to know that if you were to unscrew this further and further and further, you're just spreading these things apart, and eventually, of course, you start to stretch out uh, the top tube here, and you can do some damage. So once you've loosened it enough that the seat post is loose, you really have to stop, and you have to remember to go the other way to tighten it again. So, you know, tightening just means tightening the bolt. These two sides come closer together. The wedge slides back and pushes up against the, the seat post. So uh, we install the seat post simply through the um, seat post hole. We find the right position here. So with the clamp in position, you take your seat post, you install it, get it to the right height, now, below here, there's a little hole, and once you've found your bolt, you tighten it. So you tighten the bolt so that the two clamps come down, push that middle part backwards, and that tightens the seat post. And again, if you have to loosen it, you should take the torque. Normally, it's just quick enough to show you without the, the torque. It, but it's important that you use a, a torque wrench for that. So once you feel that it's loose, don't tighten it any further, just remove the seat post. And then again, when you tighten it, of course, you go the other way and it's tightened. Then you take the torque wrench and you put it down to the 9 newton meter torque that's required for this clamp.